there's two questions which uh, people with dementia and their families really want to know is how long do I have and what's next? My journey into dementia research really started with my love for the brain and to find out how the brain works. Vascular dementia is the second most common form of dementia after Alzheimer's disease. It's really caused by changes or damage to the blood vessels in the brain and very often what we're calling mini-strokes are happening. Many people are not aware that actually these kind of blood vessel changes can cause dementia. That's really an important message to get across because we actually know quite well how to prevent or treat stroke and therefore we can potentially also prevent or treat vascular dementia. Orbital frontal looks pretty good, but again, if it's vascular, you wouldn't expect it to be that bad. So people with dementia and their families really want to know how long do I have and what's next? And those are really, really difficult for us to answer at the moment because it's different for different types of dementia and for each individual. Yeah, research is really critical in that sense because our information is still so limited of how this develops over time. Really, technology plays a huge role in dementia research these days and that's why dementia research only really has taken off over the last 10 or 20 years in comparison, for example, to cancer research, which we always say is 30 to 40 years ahead of us. During my time uh, as a researcher, uh, I've seen enormous progress in how we can diagnose dementia much better, but also to understand much better what is happening actually in the brain. Our aim is clearly to prevent dementia or if we can't prevent it, to treat it or even potentially cure it. Even if we're not finding a cure now, research will really allow to manage the dementia much better, which in the end is a lot about quality of life people with dementia and their families have. And if we can improve that, that's a fantastic outcome for research, I think.